Hey, this is Nerox, and I'm going to be telling you a story about how I got my first girlfriend. Not how, but the story behind my first girlfriend. So, let's just get past the part where it's like I'm K5, and I, like some girl told me I, she was my girlfriend, and I said, okay. Next day, she said, you're not my boyfriend anymore. I was like, okay. That's not even part of the story. Okay, this starts in 6th grade, after a basketball game. The thing is, I only did this for one year and I, I wasn't good at it and that's why I only did it for one year. Anyway, after a brutal loss at the game, we go back to the van and this is how the setup was. Okay, so this is me and we'll call this person um, Sean. All right, well, Sean, and we're gonna call this person um, Larry. So we got into a discussion about truth or dare um, I was asking Larry whether or not we should play it or not, and Sean was all for it. He was like, let's play Truth or Dare. And so we started playing Truth or Dare. He, uh, I was the first person to ask, uh, Larry whether or not he liked a certain girl at our school. So, he didn't know. He didn't know whether or not he liked a certain girl at our school or not. But, he knew he liked someone else. And, he didn't really tell me that at first. But as the rounds went on, we like figured it out, but it took a while. Here's where it gets weird. We went on from round to round, and um, it went it got to a topic of whether I liked the girl that I asked about. And we're just going to call this person Jennifer. Okay, so this right here, that chick, she's going to be Jennifer. And this is me. This is Larry. He liked her. He liked her. Let's just call her Giselle. So it got down to a point where I had, like, I'd said truth or dare to um, John, and it was, uh, I dare you to ask her out for me. And he said yes. So fast forward like a week and a half, and we were at school, and I see the chick. And she comes up to me and she confronts me about uh, Sean. She told me that he told her something. And I was like, I know what he told you. I told him to tell you something. And then she whispers on her ear and is like, sure. I was like, that's what I did on the outside. Inside was like this. All of that, like, wishes came true, everything was happening, everything was working out, and it was just like, what? You said what? Fast forward about four months, and in this time period, four months went like four years, and it was insane. I was, I'm astounded now that it lasted that long, because, like, I almost never saw her anywhere except for school. This was like in 2012 so <laughs> I texted a lot so when the four month period came around she randomly out of nowhere told me I lost connection I'm sorry we ate it over text message and I was I was kind of mad but I was like okay whatever I really I didn't really like mope about it for that long but it was just what the heck <laughs> You did this over text message? I thought you were supposed to go up face to face person. And to this day, that's never happened. Every single girl that has broken up with me has done it over text message. And it's just, what the heck guys? You're supposed to be like, really upfront about this. I thought you were good at this. So, fast forward two weeks after the breakup. Okay, so Sean tells me, yo, I gotta tell you something. And literally he says that. I like Jennifer and I'm like it's been two weeks I'm a kind of okay with this but it's dude it's been a four months relationship and you literally just told me this out of all of this time you like her too all right all right so after this he starts dating her and <laughs> actually later on Larry liked her too so it was like we all like the same chick, but it's like I got like the first like pain I guess 
It's, I'm not gonna go like first dibs because that's just objectifying and everyone doesn't want to be objectified today but it's just what the heck everyone that was in the backseat of that van literally liked the same chick that I like and I asked every single one of them which was two of them but anyway I asked each one of them whether or not they liked her so whether or not I could date her too because if they liked her, I wasn't going to do anything. And they said no. And they said they liked her this whole time. Of course, this was like, a, like many years ago, which I don't have a grudge anymore. And I didn't have a grudge then because I didn't care. I did give a little crap, you know, like, come on. That's, that's some crap. It's also funny because going to the timeline of like maybe two years, like from that, um, they both liked her, both kind of dated her, and they both, I think, were broken up by her through text. Wasn't the only one. And I'm pretty sure she did this to a lot of other people. And actually, I wasn't the first person in the class to actually date her. Someone else actually was dating her. It was like maybe a month beforehand. That was the time. I got my first girlfriend, lost my first girlfriend, and then everyone liked my first girlfriend. You're welcome.